We have breaking news. At least several people are dead, nearly two dozen injured when an SUV plows through a parade filled with children tonight. We're live in Waukesha with what we know and what we're working to find out right now. A parade is a celebration for our community. Today, our community faced horror and tragedy in what should have been a community celebration. I'm deeply saddened to know that so many in our community went to a parade but ended up dealing with injury and heartache. We are following breaking news tonight. At least 23 people are hurt after a car drove through a holiday parade in Waukesha. Now the video we're about to show you may be disturbing. You can see a SUV is about to come through the screen as a parade is going on. I'm just going to actually see it right here. You see it really quickly. It happens very fast. You can see a marching band was in the way. About a minute later, the parade would come to a halt. This parade was about a dozen blocks long and went through downtown Waukesha. As you can see, it began on the West Main Street and ended on Wisconsin Avenue and new tonight. CBS News is reporting President Biden has been briefed on the situation. Our Tahalil Mahodin is in Waukesha tonight and has been speaking with local officials. She joins us now with more. Brad, local officials have shared that that SUV has been located. However, they haven't shared any information as to the people who were inside or the person who was inside. At this point, we don't know how many people there were there. Uh, what we do know is that because of that uh, violent incident, there are several people in the hospital. Like you said, more than 20, 11 or 12 of those people were children. 11 of those people were adults. Uh, additionally, there are some fatalities coming out of Waukesha tonight. We don't know how many people have died, uh, but we did hear here uh, from the police chief earlier today, uh, Daniel Thompson. This is the most important thing is the families of this tragic event and making sure that the next of kin is uh, deducted and that we're working with the families. That is our priority in this tragic incident. Still very much a police presence here in Waukesha. If you take a look, there's a police car right behind me, and it looks like that's going to be the case at least for the next 24 hours. Officials have said that they do have plans to block off the remaining area, hopefully to, hopefully getting some of those uh, question answers that we, we still don't have. It's a tragic night in Waukesha. Thank you so much, Tahalil.